So in lesson 2.2, we're going to discuss this idea of betweenness. So here's the definition of between in geometry. Uh, B is between, so there's our term there, A and C, if ray BC intersection ray BA equals B when A, B, and C are collinear. So we have several different stipulations there. Uh, one thing I'm actually going to start with the end here, A, B, and C have to be collinear, so they have to lie on a line. And then we can look at this intersection here of two rays. So ray B, C, so starting from this point, starting from point B and going in this direction towards C, and then ray B, A, so starting here and going this direction. Um, there intersection is B. That's the only thing that's in common. And so therefore we can say B is between A and C. Uh, here's the symbols for um, betweenness. If we just have A-B-C, this is uh, saying B is between A and C, which mean, again means two things. They're collinear and B um, is the intersection of those two rays. Um, some of uh, you might think, or some might think, maybe not you guys, if we had a point here, let's call it E, might say this point E is between B and C. And it, in our regular English language, it kind of looks like it's between B and C, but it is not um, because it's not collinear. Um, so in geometry, the definition has to, between has to be on the same line. Um, Examples show that C is not between A and B. Well, let's check our stipulations here. Are A, B, and C collinear? Well, yes, they are in this case. Um, we then want to check, does C... Um, we we kind of want to check this idea, except instead of we're using B this time, we're using it, C would be between it. So we would have to say, or check C, A intersection CB. So if it, C were between A and B, this answer would just be C. But as we look at CA, which starts at C and goes this direction, intersection CB, uh, you actually get the same ray. So the intersection is the entire ray, not just point C. So in order to be between, it has to be collinear, A, B, and C. And so opposite rays, B, A is a ray, and then B, C is a ray. Uh, B has to be between A and C. So another way to think about this, opposite rays, they lie on the same line. They have the same starting point, same starting point B but they go in opposite directions. And so that's opposite rays. Uh, here we'll de define segment. So a segment is the set, so it's a set consisting of two points and all the points in between. So we just define between. So you have two points and then all this, the points in between. Here's the symbols for segment. Uh, you write the two endpoints of the segment with a little segment over top of it. So here would be an example of segment AB. Two endpoints are listed, and then you put a segment over top. A segment AB equals A and B, two endpoints, union all X such that X is between A and B. So you have to get all the points between A and B. Here are some symbols, uh, point A, um, you just write A. You don't have to put a point next to it. So when we're talking about point A, we can just say A, line AB. That's the line going through A and B. So you would, we would write it like this, half line XY. Remember, we put an open circle and then an arrow to the right. Ray CD, segment AC, 
We didn't talk about vector yet. Uh, vector is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction. How long the vector is and the direction it's pointing matters. We're, we don't really discuss that here in geometry, but I just wanted to see another symbol here. So LM and then for vector, you actually kind of put like a half ray on there. You only put the top part, so that would be vector LM. And that's the conclusion of this lesson. Um, so it's not C, so that uh, it is not between A and B. Here's another turn, opposite rays. Ray BA and ray BC are opposite rays if and only if B is between A and C. 